Oftentimes in my coaching, I'm going to hear some people use the words, I have to, such as I have to go to work or I have to go to the gym. Think about the meaning of I have to. It's like an obligation. It's like an external force that's put on you. It's like, a, it's very threatening, you know, like it's, and if you don't do it, it's like there's going to be a consequence. The I have to's are not very good when it's time to reach your goals. So let me give you an example. As I'm working with these athletes getting ready for the 2020 Olympic Games, and I hear an athlete saying, oh, I have to go to training today. I'll ask him, why? Why do you have to go to training today? And they might come up with an answer such as, because I have to get better, I have to get stronger. And there's still I have to in there, so I'll ask why again. And then they'll say, because I have to beat my opponents in these upcoming competitions in preparation for the Olympic Games. There's a have to in there, so I'll ask why again. And then they might come up with an answer such as, because I want to become Olympic champion. The I want to is such more personalized. You know, it comes from within. It's, it's within your control. And when you want something, you truly want something, or you, or you use the I get to go to training, or I choose to go to training, uh, it's, um, it's powerful and it's within your control. So these will always beat the I have to's. So whatever challenge is coming up and you're preparing for it, go with the I want to instead of the I have to.